Introducing a new technology layering engine for broadcast, live venues, and presentations. Multi-lane keen and mixed effects with an extraordinary intuitive iPad interface. New from Ensemble Designs. So I'm Matt Smith, I'm Vice President of Internet Television at Invivio, and I work with our broadcast ecosystem uh, customers to design, uh, develop, and deploy solutions for broadcast architectures. Um, and that's really driven around today what we call TV Everywhere, uh, delivery of these live linear signals to any screen, anywhere, anytime, on any network, um, so that they can take the multitude of networks that they supply to multiple channel environments today and deploy those to uh, iPads, uh, iPhones, Samsung Galaxy tablets, any type of additional glass uh, where that content can be consumed. It's where the video signal is the primary focus, but there are also complementary things in and around that content. And so some of the things that we've, we're announcing here at the show um, that cater to or complement that market are things like timecode. Timecode is essential to the broadcaster's workflow um, so that they, there's continuity amongst not only the broadcast elements but the streams as well. In today's adaptive bitrate world where we're doing multiple renditions from uh, HD all the way down to uh, 3GPP for example, um, having those groups, those segments, those chunks of files aligned on a, on a group of pictures or GOT basis, timecode becomes absolutely critical. So that's something we've integrated in the product here at NAB that should be very interesting to the broadcaster. Secondly, we're leveraging the SETE or SCUDI 104 specification. We're one of the first in the industry to ship the ability to do ad insertion using SCUDI 104 for baseband uh, infrastructures, but SETE 104 is, is going even broader. The spec is being looked at to enable uh, things like blackouts, program replacement, uh, command and control of those workflows so that in a case of a broadcaster delivering a, a show, for example, that show may have broadcast retransmission rights, but there may not be rights for streaming. So what needs to happen in a, in a workflow is that that message is sent uh, to an encoder that says at the top of the hour, I want you to switch to uh, another video signal. That may mean picking up a file from a playout server in proximity and streaming that as a um, file to live type scenario. The important thing though is that we help that broadcaster to observe those business rules and use that business logic so that we black out and replace programs where necessary. These are the workflows where we're seeing more, um, we're, we're seeing people look to the future leveraging the specifications so that the, the workflows of the next six to 12 to 18 months uh, adhere to these business rules. One thing that our, our Muse software and our forecaster product enables um, is, is convergence. We've talked for a long time in this industry about convergence, but the fact that we can sit down with a prospective customer and talk to them about being able to deliver adaptive bitrate streaming, StatMux MPEG-2, Cable Labs compliant MPEG-2, all in one form factor so that they don't have to buy disparate uh, components and, and create disparate workflows to enable multiple use cases is very attractive, not only from a power uh, consumption and cooling perspective, but just the ease of the workflow. We're simplifying things and folding them down. And we found that as a, as a topic that, that's resonating. Making things easier and folding things down, simplifying workflows um, are kind of at the core of our thinking and that's what the products are, uh, are showing here today at NAB.